Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Ableton Life 9 Quick Tips. Today I want to show you how you can quickly access locators. In case you don't know like locators yet, those are basically exactly what scenes do in the session view, just for the arrangement view. So you can jump to a specific point on a timeline very quickly. So that be, for example, a verse or a chorus or a breakdown or whatever. And um, I suggest you can use key mapping to um, quickly access those locators. And um, of course, you can use MIDI mapping, so you can map it to any key or pad as well. But uh, in this case, I think it makes sense to actually map that to your computer keyboard. And um, so we're going to have to turn on key mapping with Command K on Mac or Control K on Windows. So, as you can see, I've not changed the naming of the locators, which you can do as well. Um, and I find it quite useful just to keep it like that because then I just map it to map one to the queue, one, two to two, and so on and so forth. Just going to quickly do all of that. Because there aren't that many. OK. And uh, one thing what you can do is you can also map the set button. Um, right now, because I'm actually stuck here at 1 at the beginning, um, it gives me the option to delete but uh, it's basically a toggle button to either delete a locator or set a lo locator. And you can also use that if you want to set locators on the fly. And I would suggest you just map it to zero, for example. Okay, so let's go out there. And now, if I just want to go to the first chorus, for example, I can simply press three and then play, and so on and so forth. So let's just play, and I'll just skip. The second verse, the second chorus. And I'll also show you that now I can just simply set a new lo locator. So as you can see, this locator was just set at the nearest point of the grid. So depending on how, how close the lines in the grid are, the next one will be set. Of course, you can move that around as well. Well, I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website, sonicbloom.net.